Here. You called me. You were hysterical. Oh, right. It's a simple fracture. She'll have the cast off in about six weeks. How did it happen? It's crazy. I was out buying cupcakes when I noticed a baby stuck on top of a building. I knew I had to save that baby. So I finished my cupcake and shimmied up the drain pipe when suddenly the drain pipe started coming loose from the building. And you fell and broke your leg? No. I let go of the drain pipe just in time and grabbed hold of a telephone wire. So there I was, hanging from the wire. I started swinging myself back and forth until finally I flung myself as high as I could, hoping I would make it to the roof, but I didn't make it to the roof. I was totally out of control and I went crashing through a giant plate glass window. And that's when you broke your leg? No. I landed flat on my back in the middle of some girl's apartment. Hello. She was super sweet. We're totally having lunch next week. Anyway. I found my way to the elevator, but it was out of service, so I had to pry open the doors and throw myself into the elevator shaft. You fell down an elevator shaft? Will you please just listen? I caught the elevator cables. I pulled myself up hand over hand until I finally reached the top where I kicked the grate open with my feet and catapulted myself onto the roof. But right before I could grab the baby, it turned and I realized it wasn't a baby, it was a crow, and it attacked me. What? I tried to fend it off, but he was one of those angry crows, and no matter what I did, he kept attacking. He wouldn't stop, and he just kept attacking and attacking until finally I lost my balance and fell 15 stories. And that when you broke your leg? No, I landed on an inflatable gorilla in front of a car dealership. So how did you break your leg? Oh, I was here for a checkup, and I slipped getting up on this table. It's really high. You should try it. No, wait, don't. You'll break your leg. Like me. She's a keeper.